Welcome back. You're still watching World Inside with me, Tian Wei. Slovenia is a southern central Europe state at the crossroads of important European cultural and trade routes. That is why relations between China and Slovenia are important to many. Slovenia is part of the Belt and Road Initiative and as such has great potential for infrastructure development. The country's geostrategic position provides good prospects for investment in the sea, in the land and air traffic infrastructure, the areas of interest for China and its partners. On the sidelines of the just-concluded World Economic Forum in Davos, I had the chance to talk with the Prime Minister of Slovenia. This is his first time to attend the World Economic Forum in Davos. He shared his views about the global economy and the future of ties with China. Mr. Prime Minister, what a pleasure to see you here at the World Economic Forum. Thank you for your invitation in your interview. Hectic day, I know, for you, because your first time here, but bigger responsibility this time. Yes, uh, Prime Ministers always have hectic days, uh, and uh, Davos meeting is a very concentrated one. Uh, the whole world elite, so to say, is here, and uh, it's uh, useful to have this time to, con uh, to conversation with yeah. uh, economic uh, people, with prime ministers, with presidents. So uh, I hope that uh, it will be uh, some result, mm. that it will be fruitful for the future. That's most important because it's when it's only talking, uh, yeah. there's no result. I see you're a very purpose-oriented person, yes. a leader. Uh, that's crucial because we're seeing a very dramatic change going on. And that also addressed to China-Slovenia relations. I understand your country and China has been very instrumental in building the trade relations. But now trade is becoming a little bit unpredictable globally. So how do you see the bilateral trade relations vis-a-vis -vis the very bigger picture as a backdrop? Well, for us, uh, these trade relations are very important. Uh, we we seek uh, always for the new markets and uh, China is very interesting market for us and also our market for China and uh, we will try to do our best in the future to, to grow uh, our trade uh, relations. Uh, we have also some uh, common projects to, to build and to, to, to manage. Uh, and we have also, I must admit, um, some problems with it. Mm. But uh, our government will do our best to, to improve these uh, relations. What do you think are some of the most important challenges when you are talking about the problems? I think that uh, we must uh, be very cooperative, uh, Slovenia and yeah. China, and find new, new ways how to cooperate. We think. Uh, that China is a uh, very uh, prosperous land, it's very uh, fast developing and uh, of course uh, we must not forget the tradition of China. China was, uh, uh, is a very traditional country, it's a uh, very um, spiritu spiritually rich country. It's, uh, we have uh, a lot to learn from you. And, uh, so we are very uh, glad if uh, we make some progress. Mm. Mr. Prime Minister, of course, one of the mechanisms people have been talking a lot about is the Belt and Road Initiative. Uh, that, I guess, Slovenia also has been observing. Uh, so, from your perspective, uh, whether the connectivity will be able to solve some of the uh, challenges that you said we're facing, not just the two countries, but also globally speaking? Well, uh, we must always uh, look on things globally, because uh, it's useless to talk uh, only relations uh, China-Slovenia, because we're a lot smaller country than you are, uh, and uh, the world became uh, more and more globalized. So we must be focused on, on these issues and we uh, mustn't uh, be protectionists. We must uh, 
have free market and uh, everything uh, what is going now it's not very satisfying uh, it's a lot of things that we are worried about but I think that uh, this Davos forum is uh, one of the opportunities yeah. to discuss openly yeah. these issues we must not avoid these questions we must go into it and uh, say what is right what is wrong and uh, then find yeah. some solutions that's right. crucial uh, Mr. Prime Minister, as you may know, uh, this year we have the absence of some uh, developed economies. However, uh, countries like the developing countries and emerging economies are very active, Slovenia included. So uh, here's the issue. There used to be fewer voices and consensus can be reached, it seems apparently easier. But now you have more diversified voices and these voices are coming, coming from very different backgrounds. And therefore, how will the rules, the system, be renegotiated or be adjusted? It's a crucial question. Well, yes, indeed. It's a crucial question because if we don't solve it uh, very fast, yeah. I think the differences will become so large. And we'll have got a lot of collateral damages. Yes, yes. And uh, Slovenia is a smaller country. Is uh, It can become collateral damage. You can feel it because we are very uh, export uh, economy, yes. export oriented uh, economy and uh, for us it's crucial that uh, we have a free market and we have no, no um, these developments uh, that we are facing now. Uh, we are very worried about uh, this uh, arming uh, deal between the uh, United States and Russia. It's, uh, it's not good. I think that world now is very, very divided, as you said. Because, uh, but I, I find it uh, funny because we have so many communication systems. We, we could, we have emails, we have phones, we have everything. Technically speaking, we can do anything. Anything, but we are more and more divided. It's a Why is that, sir? I don't know. I don't have this answer, but uh, I'm convinced that it's not good. We must uh, use this communications, uh, communication technology or artificial intelli intelligence, which is developing uh, enormously, but uh, we must be prepared also to some side effects of it. If we won't uh, uh, make uh, regulations, then we will have problems right. and uh, we must deal with these issues as soon as possible and uh, some states uh, will have to step uh, uh, a little bit yes. back and uh, say uh, and not only look for their interest but to interest of all the world because the whole world is a village as we say it's a global village so uh, you can be. You cannot be just be selfish because no, it's not sustainable. No, yes, it's, it's the crucial thing. We must not be selfish. But I'm afraid your advice is going to fall on some deaf ears. Yes, I know that will. Uh, I'm not an, an, a I dreamer. Do I, I'm not a dreamer. I'm very common sense man, and I I know that uh, the world cannot be changed. So what can you do about it? Well, I can uh, do my best in our own country yes. to have good economy, to uh, make people to stay in our country, that mm. they, they don't uh, take their knowledge away, and such things. One crucial issue for Slovenia, of course, is part of Europe. The European continent is changing a lot. Brexit, just to mention a few, we've got France also having its own issues. Germany, of course, earlier elections. So, Mr. Prime Minister, how do you see what you term as a geographically relatively smaller country inside Europe with this very dramatic, apparently, changes going on on the continent? How would you put this country in the best position well, among all of these uncertainties? Well, uh, our um, 
uh, territory is not big, so we are a smaller country and uh, we can use this as an advantage. Mm -hmm. Because uh, like a comparison between a large ship and small boat, small boat is more flexible. Okay, and, uh, that's, that's a good analogy. Yes, it's uh, one of the advantages and our geostrategical position is very good. So we must use it. Uh, we are on the corridor yes. of uh, uh, this cargo traffic, and uh, for us it's crucial to to maintain this road as a, a good geostrategic partner for other countries, mm -hmm. uh, for landlocked countries, uh, Czech Republic, Slo uh, Slovakia, Hungary. They are all. Uh, shipping their cargo from our port of copper right. and uh, we must maintain this and uh, our uh, main goal is digitalization mm -hmm. we don't have oil we don't have uh, natural natural resources but uh, we can be uh, very good in digitalization mm -hmm. and we already are mm -hmm. So uh, that are our advantages. Yeah, but and tourism. And tourism, of tourism. course. Uh, but do you see European continent will be able to overcome? It's so hard to generalize like that because there are so many countries, uh, Slovenia included, uh, will be able to overcome the current uh, hiccups mm -hmm. in a way. Mm -hmm. uh, what would the what would they depend on? What kind of strength would they depend on to do so? Well, the European Union is the best thing that happened to the euro uh, lately. So we must... Uh, well, it's for geographically smaller countries like Slovakia, yes, but for some uh, big powers in Europe, they thought, well, they probably could have their own way. Yes, uh, it's the danger of it. But uh, no, as uh, Oscar Wilde said, no man is an island, so no country is an island. Uh, we must preserve these values of the European Union, uh, which are a little bit the same as the French uh, uh, Revolution said, Egalité, Fraternité, Liberté. Okay. Uh, it's also European values, because our values uh, uh, our sharing, our values are solidarity, our values are good economy, uh, and uh, we must do everything to keep it that way. Mm -hmm. So every country has uh, a big task to uh, stay uh, in, uh, to stay effective mm -hmm. uh, in uh, their own borders, yes. and then as a community. That's well said. They have to be effective within their own borders, and then collectively, uh, they will be more successful. As uh, you, uh, we say, think globally, act uh, locally. That's, that's the yes, main yes. issue. We are here in the World Economic Forum. Among all these hustle and bustle, you know, world leaders coming back and forth, you hear the sound also in the yes. backdrop. Which reminds me of an important question, and my final question for you, Mr. Prime Minister. May I have the honor to say to our audience, 41 years old, the Prime Minister of yeah. Slovenia. Very impressive. How do you see the quality of leadership these days, sir, particularly in your generation? Well, that's one issue that we forgot to say uh, when we talked about uh, problems in uh, Euro Europe and the solution. world. I hope it's a solution. I hope it's a solution. We need such leaders that they will not be materialistic, young leader, uh, young by heart, yes. I would say, not by age, young by heart, decisive, not, uh, uh, we have too many uh, leaders uh, that uh, are afraid of acting, uh, we, we need leaders who will act and now with the European, the right way, the right way, yes, and uh, we will have now the European elections and um, my motto uh, in our elections was it's time for new generation so uh, that's a crucial thing uh, because if we will uh, always uh, be in uh, the yes. old thinking old thinking yes we won't get progress yes. so we need progressive leaders mm. and uh, the world is changing rapidly so 
uh, I'm now 41, but I'm not young anymore. My daughters are uh, 12 and 9. They overcame me. Uh, but I hope your heart will forever young. Yes, we must uh, be young by heart. It's not measured by the age, but rather by the heart. Yes. Well said. Mr. Prime Minister, it's been such a pleasure talking to you and meeting you at the World Economic Forum. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And that is all the time we have for today. If you'd like to see more, try to find us World Inside CGTN into your search engine or check out our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Cine Weibo. From me, Tianwei, and everyone on the World Inside team, have a great weekend.